It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Los Angeles Rams. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. The Santa Ana wind so prevalent this time of year. They rolled through and they left us with bright, clear skies here in Los Angeles, California. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. He's coming off a season where he certainly experienced his fair share of ups and downs. On the positive side, he threw for career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. On the negative side, he threw the most interceptions in his career, and his team struggled and collapsed down the stretch. If he can get back to playing mistake-free football without sacrificing his aggressiveness, this team can get back to competing for a Super Bowl berth. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Got this complete to Jahan Dodson. And out across midfield, down to the 45. We'll get an injury stoppage, and it appears to be the wideout, Jahan Dotson. He's the one shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They go play action with Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Hurts. Man open left side is Brown. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. <laughs> Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Throwing over the middle. It's incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Drops this one down to Gainwell. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. 
He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The L.A. offense going to go to work for the first time, and it is the veteran Matthew Stafford at the helm in his 16th NFL season and fourth with the Rams. Stafford is one of those quarterbacks who didn't get the credit he deserved for the majority of his career due to the fact he's playing on teams that often didn't make the playoffs. But that narrative emphatically changed when he changed his surroundings and won a Super Bowl with the Rams. He's had a few injuries in the intervening years, but now that he's fully healthy, he plans on getting his team back into the championship conversation. From the gun, here's Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. A first run now for Kyron Williams. And he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. From the gun on third down, Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. And they'll send the tight end in motion. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Milton Williams there on the tackle. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Now Stafford. Man open is Robinson. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 18. A good gain of 14 there and it moves to James. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here's a second and five.
Now it's Stanford. A quick pass to Cup. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Stafford. It's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Puka Nakua from six yards away. And the Rams have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower. Bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Throwing his hurts. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This now a third and four. Hurt sets up to throw it. Dancing to his left. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker. And this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as they'll go instead with Barkley. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. From the 41, here's a second and five. Again, it's Barkley. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? 
coming up and making the big time play. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. A first down carry for Barkley. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Second and nine. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Yeah, he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. Brown goes in motion left. Back to throw. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Oh, it's complete. A diving grab there by Brown. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They wanted to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit of the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. A big loss there of about seven yards on first and goal. So now it's second down. The first and goal looked like things were set up nicely. And now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of them. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster. So you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. Second down and goal. Hurts. Catch made right side by Wilson. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. They'll set up a throw. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. And that sack brings up fourth and goal. A loss of seven. Big play. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half. But this time, they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. 
as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And the first play will be a field goal try. This just 32 yards officially from the right hash. The kick by Elliott is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. We often give credit to the O-line there, two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Second and nine from the 44. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Third and two. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. That was a third and somewhat manageable, now not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. That's big Jordan Davis powering in to drop him. Seems to me that our friend, old momentum, <laughs> I think he's definitely changed teams in this game. It's only going to grow after that sack, and now, heck, they can get the ball back here and possibly even get the lead. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Jahan Dotson was the intended receiver. And now it's second down.
Barkley inside handoff. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up second down. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Now Hurt's going to keep it running left. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. But when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. The Eagles on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Up the middle with Barkley. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the That's field. I was going to say. Normally I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Here's Smith to return it. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 23. He'll hand this to Williams to start things out. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. To throw is Stafford. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. That one goes for eight yards. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now Stafford. He finds Robinson. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Back to throw, Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. 46 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Out of the gun, Stafford. 
Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and 10. Here's Stafford. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. So now Stafford and the Rams, after the sack, well, they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to take this one in for the Rams touchdown. Kyron Williams, 38 yards. And the Rams are able to extend their lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. So that drive goes eight plays. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. Nine yards that time. I like watching a wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. A handoff to Barkley, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage.
So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So from the 36 now, first and 10. He'll look to throw. Throw right side complete to Dodson. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And connecting quickly with Goddard. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second down and four. Back to throw again. He delivers another to Goddard. Complete. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. They'll look to throw again. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Throwing his hurts. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've got to run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. That's a tough one there defensively because look at the stops they got on first and second down. And it's first and second in goal. And then on third down, they cover the receivers but they leave an alley open for him to find, and he does. That is frustrating. You do almost everything right, and he still ends up in the end zone. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And this is up and good. It brings him within a point now. It's 14-13. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told, and a nine-yard run on the end of it. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. 
And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Rams offense and running back Kyron Williams getting ready for their next possession. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with a one-point lead, you'd have to think they'll be looking just to get this to halftime. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. It was Josh Schwett who got him down on the defensive side. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Rams got a nice throwback performance from their veteran quarterback, Matthew Stafford. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Well, the Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. In motion goes the tight end. That's complete to Robinson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. Man open is Robinson. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Another big gainer, two in succession, as this one goes for 32. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Here's Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Here's second and three. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. So they don't even need to run a second down play. Give them the first. And typically when we see this jumping, is it usually third down, fourth down? They got them on second down. I think that's a lack of discipline. So now then the penalty's got them set up with a first and goal. Now Stafford. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Williams. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. 
Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> They've gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Kyron Williams with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here and we get a seal here. And we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Now the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. Five plays there on that drive. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. kickoff team on the field and here we go with the ball in the air and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line so here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This one complete down the field to Goddard. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Hurt sets up to throw it. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 33, here's second down and one. Here's Hurts to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to make it fourth down. And not what you're looking to do on third and one, completing the pass, but going backward. I have zero explanation for that because third and one, you just figure snap, throw, first down, right? Easy play. But end up losing yardage on it. That's hard to account for. They'll run with Barkley. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. 34 yards for Saquon Barkley. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So how about the fortitude there? They're in field goal range, but they say, no, forget the three. We think we can get the first, and they wind up getting a lot more than they bargained for. And I love how you used an SAT word to describe what we just saw there, partner. That's got to be a deflated defense. You see the head down, the shoulders slumped. 
But we've talked about this before. Sometimes as a defense, you get so wrapped up in defending the first down line that that's your last line of defense. And once they get past that, they're gone. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? A third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second. You don't? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm, again, I keep coming back to I don't like to chase a lot of points. Yeah. But I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Rams offense and Matthew Stafford set to take over once again. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the simple, guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. From the gun, here's Stafford. That's to the tight end, Colby Parkinson. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Here now, second and four. Stafford now to throw. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. Now it's Stafford. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Then confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. 
Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. Here's a give to Barkley. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 77 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And his throw is incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Able to get away and shedding the tackle and now some room. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Remember, Brandon, he ran for a touchdown earlier, so his decision to go ahead and tuck it and go again turned out to be a wise one. And the decision is what is important here. He has made some good decisions on when to tuck it and go. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 33. Now Saquon Barkley, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. From the 30 on second down, Hurts. That one complete out to Dotson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. On second down and four. Hurts. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Now back to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed. But that was really well designed there. And they're able to pick up a first down. Hurts. It's Barkley once again bringing in the catch. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, 
They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Barkley diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. Uh, he's giving him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is up to five. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 61 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction... That's often the end result. They run it again with Williams. Unable to corral him, he fights through. But he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 16 more on that one and another first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. To throw is Stafford. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Now Stafford. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on here to punt it away.
We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Eagles offense and running back Saquon Barkley ready to get going again. And as we roll through some of the highlights, we see how crucial he's been to their success in this one. When he's in this type of a groove and his offensive linemen are creating running lanes for him, he can really put on a show, and he's done so here. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. From the 22 now, here's the second down and six. They'll go to Barkley again. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. The offense on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. They'll set up to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. On the option left, it's Hurts. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Target is to Dotson, and he's got him. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch, good enough for a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So after the penalty, now they need just a yard on second down. They'll run it again with Barkley. 
Dances by him. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 117 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive. But sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose. And just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Second and goal from inside the five. From the gun, it's Hurts. They'll roll him out right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. But that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Elliott now to add the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. L.A. readies for its next possession. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You have the first one for the second one to even matter. Stafford. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop.
Here's Stafford. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and six. Here's Stafford. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards. And now one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Now Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 33. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and can serve as much as possible. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Again, it's Stafford. It's complete to Williams. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Rams have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. An extra point splits the uprights. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. Got a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Eagles offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. They keep it with Barkley on first down, and he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because... That's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. A 
Again, it's Barkley. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Here's Hurts to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. Well, this offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And you get a look at the numbers, uh, they don't even tell the whole story. This has been a tremendous performance to this point. Here's first and ten. Now it's Stafford. That'll be caught. It's caught. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. And this is one of those gotta have it drives. You can't start much better than that. Big yardage there. And just as important, he's able to get out of bounds. And now that changes everything. Just the one timeout remaining as they try to navigate this two-minute drill. First and ten. Stafford. A quick throw there is incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass <laughs> like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Stafford now to throw. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it. And that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Now Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. He'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Nolan Smith brings him down on the pass rush. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. That's into the hands of Parkinson, the tight end. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Final minute, no timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. They'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. 
Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. One last throw here for Stafford. And this is going to be caught. It's caught. And they've won the football game. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level from both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did. And just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.